channel welcome back to the vlog I don't know why I just ran out of breath a little bit right there I don't know if you guys can hear it but I am a little bit under the weather honestly I've been uh, sick for about like a week now this past week uh, was exam week so it was intense y'all I had uh, physiology on Monday and then I had uh, cell and molecular biology on Wednesday and then I had micro on Friday and I mean it's just so I hate to complain but it is it's really hard to do back to back to back exams like that like by Thursday when I was sitting for my exam on Friday I was like <laughs> when is it gonna be over <laughs> like I just wanted to relax so Friday after my exam I made myself a good brunch and I had a lot of plans for my Friday evening like once I'm done my exam I'm gonna mm, 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 try to get in that bed and I knocked out and I was out for the entire night so this morning I woke up I cleaned my house up I did a good deep cleaning which I've been needing to do like my floors and you know my dishes some laundry the bathroom everything and then I got ready um I've been like editing some vlogs because on the days that I have taken an exam I'll take that time to edit a video because I'm so behind on my videos and um ciao I haven't worn makeup in so long and I'm sick and tired of looking at my bare face. So I decided in today's vlog, not just for the vlog but also for myself, I wanted to do my makeup. And I also decided to get dressed today and put on a real outfit so that's exciting. Welcome to today's vlog. Again, if you're new here, my name is Breland. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on my social media at Breland Hunt. Um, but anyway, yeah, this past week was really difficult to also be congested. Like, it's better now. You can still hear it but I haven't blown my nose in two days so that is a big win for me. I mean there was just mucus coming out and I don't know if it's from me like going to New York or um, one of my classmates said that she was also sick and she thinks it's just like you know the constant stress and not getting enough sleep and not taking care of ourselves because I'm like I literally haven't left my apartment in yes I went to New York but that was two weeks ago so I don't really know where I got sick but today we're leaving the house and I'm going to enjoy this beautiful fall day in DC and just try and make the most out of this study day because I do have one more exam on Monday so I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and do some studying before then I'm gonna run a couple of errands before we do that let me show you guys my outfit so my earrings are from Bella Barnett I love them because obviously B for Breelin B for beauty and brains B for used to be a Barbie <laughs> anyway this top is from Shein I don't know where this long top is from I think I got it like actually at a mall a mall these pants are super old too I don't know if you guys can tell by the material you can't but they're kind of like shiny so a little bit of a leather vibe these are really old as well like my normal bracelet and jewelry I got this really cute ring off of Amazon it's gonna focus super cute and these are gonna be my shoes these really cute loafers but no shoes in the house so that's why they're over there on the side I think that our first stop is going to be UPS and I was really trying to decide if I wanted to go to a coffee shop that I could walk to but I realized that there really aren't that many and I really want to go to a coffee shop that I can like sit in for like hours and actually study and not feel like I have to definitely buy something or that like they're like I'm in the way of things you know there's some places where you can go for a coffee shop for them be there for an hour I'm talking maybe three hours and then I think about switching and go to a library it depends on the vibes but um anyway yeah I decided that I'm gonna drive today and so I also have to do errands it's okay that I drive 
So let me go ahead and pack my bag. I'm gonna be bringing an actual purse today. Again, just because like I carry a book bag every day. I'm gonna put my laptop and iPad in this today. Protect black people, you guys know me. I think I've shown this bag before. Please excuse the sounds of the city. Out with the old and with the new. <laughs> I'll be doing that all the time now. Oh, cute. I love this, it's giving lux, honey. I thought about getting a designer wallet like this because I really do like just carry a wallet instead of like a purse nine times out of 10. And I still may, you know, life is short, you never know. And here are my very heavy keys. I've got my car keys, My literally this thing is so big and heavy, but I don't walk around like this. Like I don't go anywhere with my keys all like this, but this is literally what I will put in a purse. Ooh, this thing is heavy. <laughs> this is what I'll put in my purse. That way all of like my necessities are in one. And if I like need to grab some, listen, I'm not here for you guys to judge me, okay? This is what's in my bag. You wanted to know? Actually, you didn't want to know. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Now, I'm kind of full of energy because I just talked to you guys, but to be honest, I can use some caffeine and I'm nervous that I may not like the place that I go to enough for coffee. Maybe I'll just pack a Celsius just in case. Ooh, I have this new Celsius flavor. I bought a whole pack of it though because you couldn't buy it in the four packs. And I haven't been able to find them at the grocery store, just like singles. So I bought the 12 pack off of Amazon and I hope that I don't regret it. It's the strawberry lemonade flavor though. So it's like, it has to be good, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get it and put it in my purse and then we should be good to go. I get some good light, get out. Can I get some good lighting please? Let me tell you guys that I never take for granted the the peace and the joy that I feel when I come to my car after it's been in the garage. I have so much joy and gratitude and peace when I see my car just gracefully sitting in the garage because the garage is so far from me so I can't like just go and check on my car and like I said it's probably it's been a week it's been a week because I went to church on Sunday and today's Saturday so it's been a week since I've seen my car but like anything that happens to your car when it's all the way out there you know and I know I need to check on it more but it's exam week I haven't been feeling well I just been in my own zone so I was just really happy to see my car not only sitting there peacefully and quietly where I left it but also with no bird poop on it because if you know you know okay and oh I didn't know that I had to be grateful for that but to get into my nice clean car after I left it nice and clean is a blessing so our first stop is actually going to be the Verizon store because I decided that I don't want cable anymore I'm still gonna use them for internet but I have watched TV I can count on my hands and it's been twice <laughs> and I actually mainly got cable for stuff like when Miss USA comes on and it's like oh this is gonna be like live on Fox like I need to have Fox but honestly this year they streamed it I rarely watch TV like when I do sit down and I relax like I watch streaming services so I'm just gonna invest in an Amazon Prime stick I used to have one but I lost the remote and that thing is probably like eight years old or so so I'm gonna buy a new one maybe not now but there's a new Amazon Prime day coming up so I'll probably buy one then and in the meantime I have to take back the equipment I was going to keep the cable box in case like maybe one month I decided oh you know what I'm gonna watch TV more often oh my god it looks so pretty out here like I haven't been outside in so long oh, look at these DC streets like oh. oh my gosh everybody's like decorated their little in front of their brownstones people have decorated little cobwebs no i'm freaking living right now that's why this vlog is called i don't know what this vlog is called it should be called living my best life in dc <laughs> um Anyway, yeah, I thought about keeping the box. I'm kind of like how with streaming services, like you can kind of skip a month or you can cancel your subscription and then you can pick it back up if you feel like you're not gonna be watching it, you're gonna be out of town, whatever it is. It's like, you know what, I'm just gonna cancel my cable and maybe I'll pick it up if I feel like I'm gonna watch TV that month. But they, child, they said, you got to bring the box back. And I said, well, you know what, now you've lost yourself a customer because 
that's fine I'll bring it back but I probably won't ever go through the hassle of having you guys come back in and install the cable so I'm gonna move forward with my fire stick and in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off it's a bit of a chilly one today I'm not gonna lie I walked outside and I was like oh it's crisp because again I haven't been outside in a week how many times I'm gonna say that but it's really jarring you know <laughs> to like leave the house every day go to work yada yada and then all of a sudden like never leave the house because I do school virtually so it's very weird for me to like come outside and oh my gosh like the leaves are already starting to change colors oh no it's a stop sign but ah like look how pretty it looks outside oh, I turned on kind of like a not cute road and there's a police officer right in front of me okay So I'm on my way to the coffee shop now. I stopped by the UPS store, but that location didn't, didn't take Verizon equipment. So then I looked up the closest UPS store. I came here. It turns out that they did accept the Verizon equipment, but then I didn't have like the right code for it and I can walk to a UPS store. So I'm just going to come back and do that later, but I did have to return something from Amazon. Oh crap. Let me tell you what, driving in D.C. can be tricky. I knew it. I made that turn wrong. Sometimes the turns are like U-turns and sometimes they're like low-key turn left. Sometimes it'll be like turn right, but it really just means keep straight. Sometimes it'll tell you turn right and it really means like go over here like this. So I didn't make that turn correctly. Um, anyway, is it just me or did like we not really get fall? Because it's cold outside. Like it's a smooth 57 degrees. 57 is cold. Oh my gosh, we have to go that way. Okay, all right, all right. Let me, let me just start over and pay attention. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm not going where I'm supposed to be going. Um, yeah, y'all. Oh, there's a Starbucks right here. It's good to know. But yeah, y'all, it's cold outside. Like I tried to stand outside and call Verizon to get my code for a little bit and I was like I can't even stand out here for that long like I thought about putting on a coat but I was like I'm not gonna be outside that much so you know I'll save it for later but y'all no I definitely I could have used a coat today for sure I feel like I missed the window where I could have studied outside in the fall time and been comfortable because it was so hot and now it's so cold like what happened to that in between time like where is the smooth 65 to 69 weather <laughs> like honestly 70 is still cold to me <sighs> and if you guys know me you know that I have never really been a huge fan of fall I'm a summer girl through and through honey okay I like spring and I mean winter is bad like I like like fall only comes in third place because winter is bad but at least winter comes with holidays and Christmas and I love a good Christmas aesthetic the theme the feeling the the vibes of Christmas I love it but child and I see why people try and make fall have like its own aesthetic because it makes it more exciting and I see why people are kind of like oh but like the, the pumpkin foam and it kind of makes me want to care about it too because I'm like yeah you know fall is kind of cool but mm, y'all yeah, really got my attention when you started to show up with your fall fits I was like okay I understand why people feel like they can dress better in the fall time than in the summertime and I used to like literally not even care about my wardrobe in the fall and the winter and then suddenly I started to care about it more I'm not gonna care about it that much this season I mean a little bit because again I don't really I don't get dressed like that but I want to like fall like you guys like fall but days where it's so cold I'm sorry I'm still just always gonna be a summer girl because I enjoy warm weather it's so bright and with my heat warmer on especially if I had a coat on yeah it's a very lovely DC fall day comment down below if you are a summer girl or a fall girl <laughs> here at 
the coffee shop. I'm super excited. I hope I like it. I have been studying at a coffee shop, literally. Panera Bread doesn't count as a coffee shop, but I remember one time when I was in my last graduate program, me and Ivy went to this bomb coffee shop, and I was like, why did I not go there more often? It was like the aesthetics, the vibe, the food was even good, and that was before I even drank coffee. Anyway, this place I saw on Instagram because my friend Glory posted, and today's just one of those days where I am romanticizing my life, romanticizing my life as a graduate student, romanticizing my life living in DC. So we are going to just have us a cute little solo coffee shop date. I definitely encourage you guys to do this. I say this before I even go inside, but I encourage you guys to do this if you are studying you go to the library all the time like on the weekends go to the coffee shops change up your scenery treat yourself to a fun and weekend activity while you're still being productive and studying and you guys see this i got a parking spot right in front of the front door like <laughs> i'm having a great day shiny but the coffee shop was so cute I would not lie going on a Saturday was a lot like it was really really busy up in there and obviously like it's a coffee shop so I don't know you know I'm used to my Panera bread you know so there was a lot of people in there I got the luck of the draw I got like a great seat that was on the end so I was like near somebody and they just like kept switching out or whatever because they have like a long booth and I wanted to show you guys more but there was just so many people that it was really like <laughs> I was uncomfortable vlogging you know like having your camera out especially by myself like maybe if I was with somebody else but I got a little bit of vlog shy which I normally don't I normally push through and I don't get vlog shy for anything I got some clips for you guys but I could not put the vlog camera with this big old microphone on it and this is a big vlog camera too um it's not no g7x okay <laughs> this is the m50 if y'all know y'all know this one is big with the uh this thing right here with the tripod and the, it was it would have been too much it would have been too much but um I got a good amount done for the amount of time that I was there so I feel good about that I'm about to go home right now and also I didn't get any food that's another thing too <laughs> I gotta stop letting people dictate and determine how I live my life, right? Which I normally don't. I really don't. I'm being dramatic. But I did not open up my Celsius because I was like, what does it look like to be at a coffee shop? Not get no coffee, not get no food. And they look they have like they look like they had some bomb food. <sighs> I wanted to get something so bad. And I really could have stayed for longer because I was pretty comfortable, but it was cold in there and I was getting hungry and I didn't want to eat while I was there. I was also yawning a lot. I'm tired. Like I really want my Celsius. But now it's like five o'clock and if I drink my Celsius, I'll be really really up I may I don't know I think I'm gonna save it for another day yeah I really like that coffee shop I'll definitely go back I think the best time to go back would be like on a weeknight like maybe a night before my quiz maybe I don't know if Sunday night would be busy there but maybe like a night before my quiz and I would go and I would eat <laughs> but yeah the reason why I didn't eat is because I'm working on my budget right now. I know that I have like three people's birthdays coming up and they're all having like these birthday dinners and all this stuff and I'm like, okay, I just want to make sure that I'm being smart with my money. Ryan is in town. Well, she actually kind of like lives here now, temporarily, <laughs> but not in DC, kind of in Maryland. She's here with her new fellowship and we literally have not met up since she's been here. But I did just see her in New York. I'm gonna see her like in a couple of weekends for homecoming. So I haven't really been pressed about anything, but she's gonna come over today so we can hang out and chill. She already went out to brunch, but now it's about dinner time. So she's like, she just wants like a healthy dinner. So we're gonna get salads. I haven't had anybody over in a while, so I'm excited to socialize because <laughs> all the people I talk to nowadays 
are you guys but yeah I just knew it wouldn't be smart to order like a $13 meal there with coffee and like a croissant and then spend probably like 15 maybe $20 sweet green can get expensive honey studying in my apartment all week long has got me spoiled only thing that I don't like is that my chair feels uncomfortable only time I really complain about that is like a couple of days before my period and then I'm like was it the chair is it my back pain or is it flow what's the culprit here yeah, other than my chair not being comfortable, if I'm cold, I can turn on the heat, I can put on a sweater, I can wear a blanket, I can wear my robe, like, it just, I can study on my couch, I can study in the kitchen, I can study while I eat, like, I, <laughs> if I had to study all day every, it's like, I know it's not healthy to only study in my apartment, because that means all I'll ever do is, like, literally live in my apartment 24-7, but I thoroughly enjoy studying in my apartment and I haven't even set up my desk yet. Like when I set up my desk, it's really gonna be over cause then I can create content there and it'll be aesthetically pleasing too. Done. <laughs> Girl, the camera ain't pointing at you, calm down. <laughs> um, I, this is like one of those little slinky type of tops and you know, like oil gets on it easier. So when I put it on, so I just have to do a little, it'll drop, you know how it is. But good morning, happy Sunday. I'm on my way to church this morning. I had a, my first sleepover last night. <laughs> Unintentional, unplanned. I won't show her because she's uh, getting herself together this morning, but. There you go. Now you look camera ready. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I didn't really get to vlog a lot last night when Ryan came in because if y'all don't know me and Ryan, boy, we can talk. So we were talking all night long to the fact to where she didn't want to drive back home. So and basically, if I didn't mention it, Ryan basically has a fellowship here in D.C. So she's going to be here for the next couple of months until December. And so we went and we got dinner at the Matchbox and she got a salad which she really likes so if you guys are interested in like a um, Italian adjacent I don't even know if I would call it that but I got oh my gosh hi vlog hi friends okay so hold on let me do a quick little update oh my gosh you guys hold on I'm trying to like untwist you from my little thing <laughs> there is this People are so freaking funny. Oh my gosh, why won't it let it? Okay, y'all, look in, oh, I hope this thing will show it. Do you guys see that in that car? It's a Chucky doll. People are freaking, I would say that they're funny, but I think that that's scary. <laughs> um, I think that's kind of scary. But hey guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so I actually, oh my gosh. So today's Monday. Happy Monday. I This is weird crack. <laughs> okay, all right. I got to move cuz now that why did this crackhead just stick his tongue out at me? <laughs> I know it's not nice to be calling people crackhead, but like also my plan is to actually get a bicycle, like one of the lime bikes and then ride my bike to the UPS store. I'm taking my car into the parking garage now. I'm gonna drop it off. That way it's nice and safe for the rest of the week and get some fresh air. I haven't been outside all day. And um, yeah, just, you know, feel the fall vibes a little bit. I told you guys I haven't ridden a bike in a very long time. And if you know, you know I love me a good bike. I didn't bring Roxy with me because Roxy is rusted. <laughs> And my mom probably threw her away, honestly, because that's what she loves to throw things away without telling me. And they're just being like, what? I threw that away. You didn't even ask about it. And I'd be like, girl, I, I just thought it was waiting for me. Anyway, so I need to get a new bike. Um, I don't bike that often here, so I don't necessarily need it. But 
um maybe i'll get another bike soon after i drop the stuff off at verizon my goal is to go to the dollar store and hopefully they have like the balloons because there's no party city in dc so i don't know what people do when they want like helium balloons or like you know just the blow up balloons or whatever but you guys i just hit 50k <laughs> and you, okay so i'm really behind on my vlog so by the time you guys watch this you've already probably told me congratulations if so thank you so much it's been a long time coming like i have been literally doing youtube for 50k is a really big milestone and you know sometimes i get really hard on myself because i've been doing social media for a long time and like i'll be like oh like you know it's not 100k or i should be doing more my number should be more blah 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 but at the end of the day like I'm proud of myself I'm grateful for the community that I've built I'm grateful that people are watching me and that they care and that 50,000 people at one point in time has pressed a subscribe button because they appreciated my creativity my hard work they wanted to be a part of my story my journey whatever it is like I'm so grateful for it all so I am going to go get balloons that say 50k and then I want to take a picture with it just to like you know celebrate it on my Instagram and people normally don't do it for 50k but I feel like you know what 50k on YouTube is a big deal and I have been like on this journey for a really long time and so I can't like diminish the fact that it's not like 100k or 1 million like no 50k is a big deal to me so I'm gonna celebrate it and so I really hope that they have the balloon so I can do that today and I want to get it done today because I really won't have time to do it once school starts back up um, tomorrow <laughs> and you can see that like my hair isn't done my makeup isn't done so like I need to do that as well and like I said it's already five and the sun is setting earlier now so I hope I can just get things done um we'll see but I'm gonna stop talking and head downstairs try and find a bike and then bike there and um yeah Hey y'all, I'm trying to vlog without showing too much of my surroundings, but I wasn't able to get on a bike, so I ended up just walking to the UPS, but I was able to drop off my equipment, which is great. So then I ended up getting on like a scooter on my way back, and it felt amazing. The wind was flowing through my hat. <laughs> but yeah, had a really good time. And then I rode the scooter all the way to the dollar store, and I didn't even end up getting the balloons because they didn't have them. They did have balloons there, but they didn't have a number of balloons. So now I'm walking back. At least I got some movement in because shout out, I was walking. <laughs> okay, I was walking. But I didn't get my balloons, which is really sad. So I think for the rest of the evening, I'm going to cook dinner. Hey y'all, I'm going to take a study break and do a Shein try on haul. This stuff has been sitting here for a long time, so I can't wait to try everything on, see what I like, especially for the fall time, see it's going to be in my new fall wardrobe. I honestly cannot remember what I got because I ordered this stuff a long time ago, and I don't like to look at my orders before it comes in. I like to forget that way it's like a surprise when I open this stuff up again. So let's see what we got. Thanks again to Shein for partnering with me on this video. Again, you guys can get some money off by using the promo code that I'll have linked down below, as well as all the links to these items that'll be down below as well. Okay, so this is the first piece. I'm so excited. I love tweet. I actually saw this dress a lot from Zara. Ooh, the pockets are functional. How cute. I love how it has like these gold buttons on here. And obviously this could work really well with the fall time because these sleeveless blazer dresses look really nice with the top underneath of it. Whether you do like a turtleneck or like a blouse, it's like really easy to layer. And then I feel like this will look good with boots or really just anything. I think it fits well. So yes, and I love this color. I don't think that I have any blue tweeter, even really any like blue blazers. So this is cute and perfect. 
Okay, so this next outfit is also tweed, but this time it's pink. And this is like a two-piece set, which by the way, I love how Shein still sells their two-piece sets together and not separately. It just really helps with saving the cost. I love this material. Like, it's tweed, but it just feels really soft. Um, anyway, I styled this with it buttoned up. That way I don't have to wear a blouse underneath of it, but I feel like this would look really cute open. Like a bodysuit, so that way it's tucked in all the way, or a crop top. But I think this way is really cute too. Like, you have to think about it full glam, okay? <laughs> We're like bare, not even bare minimum. You guys have to stick with me for this haul, okay? I have no makeup on. I don't even sound good. You have to really be able to see the pieces for their potential, because you won't be able to see the vision with me right now. So this is like my favorite way to dress. I literally will wear this anywhere okay this is the next outfit here is it giving so this is my first time buying anything with sleeves I felt like this would be a really great piece because obviously the sleeves are like detachable this is just like a regular bodycon dress and I honestly got this for homecoming I thought it would be really cute if I did like a Spelman blue theme even though this is not Spelman blue at all but I thought it would be cute if I did like a blue theme for homecoming maybe I may do it I may not I may wear some blue pieces but either way I thought this was so cute like I may wear this on one of the nights out and I like this because it's like kind of casual like you could go two ways like you now y'all know I don't really do casual but like you could dress this down <laughs> by wearing sneakers with this with like no gloves right no gloves and sneakers and it's just a really nice like versatile body cone feels good doesn't do any like favors to the body doesn't snatch you in or anything but like it fits good and it's not too short okay so this is the next outfit here obviously needs a little bit of steaming but I think you can get the gist of what I was going for these are both from Shein uh, this top right here I literally love I love this dress because I have a top like this that's literally the exact same like it's a button-up and it has like this cinch waist in this one is a little bit different I don't know if you guys can tell but it kind of has like a uh, corset tie so you can make this even tighter um, I didn't really tighten it at all because it doesn't really need to be that tight but this is great to put underneath other things anyway the point is that that one is like a little bit too short so I got this in an extra large or a large so that way it was long enough for me and then this one is so I would feel comfortable wearing this out like as a shirt dress this looks really great with knee-high boots and then I got like this sweater vest I feel like this would look a little bit better okay <laughs> I don't know if I was going to fit into this next piece here. It is like too tight. Should have gotten the size up. But I thought this would be like the perfect keep in your closet for years. Little black sweater dress. Perfect for the fall time. I think I could wear this a lot of different places. I mean honestly if this was just a little bit lower. I would love to wear something like this to church. But it's a, it's a little bit too high for it. But yeah this right here. It's going to pop out. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this next outfit. Honestly, this is better for the summertime, but sometimes when I see stuff on Shein, I just get it right away because it may not be there later on, and I thought this was so cute. It's tweed and it's yellow and it's a two-piece set. So first things first, let's let's get the boring stuff out of the way. This bodysuit is actually from Shein too, and it's part of their basics collection. It feels really good, and I'm really glad that I like it because I ended up buying it in a couple of different colors. I'm just a really big bodysuit person. I just like the way that it looks with any outfit. Fit. So this is what the white one looks like on. I also got this beautiful chocolate brown color. Got it in the Kelly green color. Spelman blue color. It's so pretty. Got all of mine in a size small, which is a US 4. I could, where am I going to save this outfit for? Because, excuse me, now obviously I like to wear it like this off the shoulder. I just think this is just really, really cute. You can wear it without the jacket. Like I think just with the shorts, like this one a summer day. Let's bring July back, okay? Run July back one more time, but this is a showstopper. And the shorts are perfect, like they fit perfectly up top here. So I have a love-hate relationship with this next outfit because I love the velour tracksuits, the two-piece suits. I mean, it gives very much so 90s princess. It just, I love them. I think they're so cute. First of all, this thing, I got in a size medium and it's too small. Like, I really could have done with a large. Like, if I really try, I could probably pull it up. But honestly, I just don't feel like it right now. Um, if you guys can see in the mirror here, the angles are like really tight. These are more like leggings instead of like 
sweatpants really which is fine at least they have pockets um but like this drawstring here it doesn't actually work which i guess you don't need but like yeah these are just like a fake tie i don't know i think the quality is just a little bit less than i would have wanted it to be this is the next piece right here i absolutely love it i'm really surprised i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe i don't know if you guys can see how long it is but it comes right below the knees and it's really unique because like on this side it has like some ruching to it but on this side it doesn't but it doesn't have like the ruching that scrunches up i don't really like those dresses but this is this is it honey this is perfect you go ahead and put a little trench coat over this again really nice for layering it's really comfortable and this is something that i wouldn't mind putting on like for online classes one day just to feel a little bit good but again it's still comfortable so this is the second dress you can see if it's a little bit different or maybe you can't the colors a little bit different it's also really really long now I haven't tried anything from skims but I would believe that this is probably the skims dupe because honestly it feels really good on the body again it hugs you really well and yeah it also comes in all these really nice colors the next dress that i got and i just love this dress so much because now that i'm gonna wear it a lot it's all one piece and it just fits perfectly i mean honestly this is a little bit cheaply made but at the same time again i know that i'm gonna wear it a lot it has these really cute like flouncy sleeves and they have this elastic that comes in on them so you don't have to worry about that it has these cute little buttons and then yeah it's just a nice bodycon dress i love the top of this right here I know you can tie this however you want to. It basically comes like this. Comfortable, but you don't have to think about it. It's just something that you can put on and you know that you're gonna look good and chic. Okay, I'm literally obsessed with this dress. Like, I think I just picked this up on a whim. This thing is sexy. Like, this is really, really nice. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. It's like, it's different, which I like. So, I like the color. It's blue, it's bright, but it's like not too bright for the fall and the winter time like it's something that you can still put a jacket over top of and you still look like okay you're dressing for the season it has this really cute cutout here which is like okay let me go ahead and tuck my undies a little bit <laughs> and it has like this drawstring here which then ruches into this like nice little circle then it also has like the same detail here so you have a little bit of side boob just a little bit still very classy and then it's like a a slit on this side but it's lower down this is so so cute I even like this like with my hair back I just I don't know I just think this dress is it hey y'all I put the white t-shirt on to show you guys a few more sweater vests that I have and I really like this one I think it just I don't know it looks just like my Pinterest girls that I saved when I think about like my ideal style and again this is a really great way to wear like the preppy look in the fall and winter time super cute if you guys can tell it's like a light pink color I mean it all just gives the same vibe but I love them all just the same and I think this would also be really cute for like the springtime going into summertime it's because it's like a light pastel color but I'm still wearing it I'm wearing whenever I want to wear it hmm. I knew I was gonna love this outfit when I bought it but I didn't know how much until I got it and the thing is that this is a three-piece set and I honestly didn't even plan on wearing it as a three-piece I thought I really really I was like I really really like this skirt so if nothing else I'm gonna get this skirt and then maybe I'll wear it with a jacket but I definitely won't wear it with a top but I love all three and I love them together so once again I'm wearing it off the shoulder like this because y'all know how I do felt like I wanted this because I could mix and match this like I always say that with the different pieces but like this skirt I will definitely wear a lot of different ways after I show you guys this outfit I'm going to try this on with a couple of the different white bodysuits that I got because all you have to do is wear this with a white bodysuit and it's a whole other outfit now the jacket is really cute too let me show you guys what it looks like on but before we do that excuse me Excuse me little bustier. Now I don't have on a bra and I feel like that would make a really big difference but I don't mind this especially like when it's all together. Honestly even just by itself like this is a really cute look. Now the skirt is like it fits like a glove okay so I really can't pull it down any further than this um and then like same with this top like this is this fits really tight i'm gonna show me stomach this is how much stomach i want to show period you can't tell if it's a six pack or gut underneath here. <laughs> either way it looks good so i think this is like really really cute i'm like so tempted to wear this for homecoming i like know it's not like the typical vibe but it's 
my vibe and that's all that matters like I could put this on I could walk around looking bougie all day if it gets a little hot I could take this off and I'll still look really cute hello okay so I actually don't love this white top with this skirt but I love this white top nonetheless like it is so cute basically the whole thing is sheer it's off the shoulders it's so romantic and feminine and beautiful that it has like this ruching here I definitely need to wear some undergarments with this so we're not gonna talk about it too long just know that it's really cute and it's a bodysuit and I like it I also wanted to try on this uh, bustier with this skirt this one of my favorite pieces of this haul which is hard because i really like a lot of things in this haul i mean this thing is great quality it looks exactly like how i was hoping it would look it has the boning it fits perfectly the girls are perky it's also really easy to get on i have another uh bustier from shein but like you have to tie the back this one is just a simple zip back and yeah of course i don't really love it being a crop top but if you wear it with the right thing you can't even tell so this is so cute yeah, okay see this is a prime example of the struggle of putting on a bustier so this one ties up in the back and without any help this is the best that I could do like it's not as tight as it could be but you get the gist of it and I don't know if you can tell by the material but it's like um kind of like a faux leather it's so cute I mean this is what it looks like out and then even tucked in it looks really cute I even got this black knew that I would love this so much and I actually got mine in a size medium surprisingly um I don't know why I don't know why I got medium instead of a small but I must have had a mindset behind it I think this is super cute okay this is one of the last two pieces that I'm going to show you guys in this haul and I'm obsessed I'm obsessed it's perfect it's so cute like it's so cute obviously as you can tell it's a snowman blue like I told you guys I'm really going for a snowman blue theme I'm definitely wearing this during homecoming week I mean it's so cute it has like this really cute like biker jacket to it which I like other than the other ones that are like very blazery this one is very casual I mean as casual as blue tweed can be I mean even the skirt is like a little bit shorter and it has this uh uh little slit to it so I really like it I'm also wearing it with this bodysuit which I really like I feel like this is gonna come in good handy I don't know if I'm gonna wear specifically this bodysuit with it but I do like it I mean the sleeves are nice and long and I really like the collar it fits really really well and of course this outfit looks good with the jacket on as well which is a huge perk because y'all know this is how I'm probably gonna wear it this is how I like it so this is really really cute I was gonna show you guys it with this bodysuit which is just like a plain white high neck but not too high but like a scoop neck with like these long sleeves again very skim like bodysuit but honestly I feel like this one gets the picture so I will show you guys oh sorry you can see my pile of pink <laughs> building over there. Last thing I want to show you guys are these silk pajamas which are really really cute because one they come in this beautiful chocolate color. Two because they come in a set of three so it actually comes with this really nice light pain color as well as this deep mauve color and I love a good two-piece matching set. It just gives self-care. It gives oil down and showered it gives fresh sheets i mean i just i love it so much just the whole entire vibe the feeling everything behind it they can get like a little bit expensive if you buy them from like a really really nice place even on amazon they're a little bit too expensive so i love that i now have like my favorite two-piece kind of set in a pack of three in three different colors that was the biggest haul ever thank god i just got new hangers because literally i don't think everything would fit otherwise i mean i'm really putting this new big closet to use but i mean hey we got it so we might as well use it <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get back to studying since this took way longer than i thought and i'll talk to you guys later <laughs>